Don't let the spider hurt me. Actually, um, Cradle of Shadows should not be soloable unless you have single handedly like 120k DPS. Because that third boss will pin you down. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna skip bosses when I do these runs, but I have zero problem skipping trash. Am I on vet? That did not feel like vet. It is. These feet. I feel like this is one of the easier dungeons in the game, just period. Like, some of the earlier dungeons are harder, just on principle of, like, they all try to give you a little something, like the, um, those expanding AoEs that'll one-shot you. I can't remember if there's going to be a problem with me doing this on hard mode. Jeez. How much did I just let her heal? I think I just gave her back most of her health. What's wrong with me? There we go. So this boss, um, I don't know if, if, if you haven't done this before, this boss, the trick is that expanding AoE, or it's not expanding, that AoE that spawns around her when she like is sitting there in, in, the, in, the, in the center of it with the poison, that will do a ton of damage to you and it'll basically heal her. So if you just stand in it, she'll heal, like, just from one person standing it, she'll heal all of her health. So I've had groups where I'm tanking, and, like, I'm looking and the whole group is just dead from standing in that. I'm like, nope, don't, don't do that. That won't work. Mm. No, this isn't the easiest dungeon. You know it is. <laughs> we'll do it next. Uh, probably City of Ash. Okay, I have things like to spread out. I wish I had like some sort of chains to use. I would totally get rid of um the degeneration for chains in a hurt beat if I could. I guess I could use silver leash, but 
No, I definitely haven't leveled it on this tune, so I couldn't use it now, but... Text. Oops. Time to die. Oops. Can I not use my abilities? Hello. I'm going to reload UI because I just hit some abilities and they didn't activate. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I won the jackpot out of this machine and no money came out. Okay, so we definitely have abilities. Yeah, something's definitely coming. Something's definitely funny with this. Maybe these specific enemies or something. I don't know. There we go. Wow. It's been a while since I did this one. It's too easy. <laughs> That's why we solo it. You know, some of these dungeons, um, I got my first no death by myself on this tune. And my other, my Magicka tune. Like Fungal Grotto, I had been trying for like a long time to get the no death. And then like first try, I used like um, Plague Doctor. And no problem. Yeah, this boss isn't really troublesome because you can simply not stand in where he's going to be attacking you for the most part. Which, if you're a tank, you should be facing him one specific direction. And if you're not a tank, you should be standing away. Again, this is one of the dungeons that I think is the easiest. And if you can tell from the way I'm talking about it, I get a lot of trouble with um, pugging it. <laughs> and I just don't understand. It's easy. Here, who am I? Easy peasy. So a lot of the time, that just ruined my plans. Oh, that actually is pretty okay. So what you try to do is um, the only reason why I circle them, generally a circle is not the best thing to do. 
But part of what I'm trying to do is get them all together. If you've got a tank, you let the tank get them all together. And if the tank's not clustering ads, um, get, a, get a better tank? I don't know. He hit hard. I think this is an ad whose heavy attack could probably wipe me out if I don't block it. What's in the chest? What's it got? More chests, and that's a bigger one, or advanced. I don't know what the Lamia's gear does. Undaunted Il Infiltrator, I see people using, I forget what it does. Maximum Magicka on a medium set. Weapon critical, Maximum Magicka. Ah, so that's like some sort of PvP set. Did I pick up the chest or did I just leave all the stuff in there? I did. <laughs> so I guess that's a PvP set that people are trying to use. Can I just skirt these or no? No. Uh, yeah, so when you see the snakes, not the lamias, but the snakes, when you see them do uh, that little thing, you do really want to interrupt them. The little interruptible. The lamias, I mean, it's, still, it's always a good idea to interrupt. There's actually very rare cases where you shouldn't. Like um, Maelstrom Marina as one of those. It's better to let that play out and use the mech, the shields, for the Argonian Behemoth. Yeah, that's nasty. Just calm down there, Chris Brown. It's going to be all right. Boss! Boss! Okay, I'm not sure if this one's going to pose much of a threat. I don't think so, but we'll see. Um, I don't think you actually need to kill the snake. Ooh, not good. And in fact, I think you actively want to not kill the snake because of the shield that it gives up. Not that it really does much damage. Let's see. But I'm pretty sure the uh, the snake just dies when the Lamia dies. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's a, quite a bit of damage. So you can still attack her from inside of the shield. And you want to do that to maximize the amount of damage that you're outputting. Wherever you see mechs where you can do that attack from a shield, like um, my Lorcage has one of those. Um, there's a bunch of those. Woohoo! Come on. We're done. Yeah, Ma of Lorcaj has like those crystal shields on the first boss where you can hide behind them and still attack the boss. Um, you always want to be doing that. Keep your damage up. I don't, I don't want to fight him. Okay, so the other thing that I see in this dungeon that really sucks is people will be like back here trying to fight this boss and she'll reset if, if you do that. So everybody needs to like get in kind of close to the boss. I want those Limeas to all get a little bit closer too. Nice tight cluster, and then my heavy attacks will do a lot. And so I think that attack has an AoE effect too, so... The amount of interrupting is stupid. Stop! I was out of that. Is she done? Oh yeah, we done. I have shoes. Okay, so I think the last boss is actually designed so that she doesn't do like too much damage because she does have attacks that ignore time. Pay attention to that. Don't blame the tank if you're dying on the last boss. It's not the tank's fault.
Oh, we're not there yet. Yeah, this is a long one. Am I getting attacked? Hey, that tickles. <laughs> Did I just pull something else? Okay, fizzies, you can go away. Goodbye, friend. Friend. Got it. Fizzies is funny. Whoa. Got to put on my healing ability. Noise. Excuse me while I go change my underwear. Now we're at the last boss. Tonight, you. Hard mode. Because, you know, why not? Oh, that's my AoE. Here I am thinking that she's done something to me. This is a long freaking fight, so... No! <laughs> no! No! Okay, well, this is starting to get painful. 2%. I had her down to 2% that last time. The other 10.
I'm going to use these times just to restore my magicka. I just make lightning in the water. Can I get my Magicka all the way back up? Pretty close. I saw that coming a mile away. I'm like, just when I don't want it the most is when she's going to smack me with that. Okay, buddy.
God, there it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs>